In today's video, I'm sharing my iPad Pro productivity system, the exact system I use to not only get more done, but also free up time for the things that truly light me up. If you're feeling overwhelmed, juggling a million things and missing out on precious moments in life because of work, then stick around. This video is your guide to reclaiming your time and building a more balanced life. We live in a world that glorifies the hustle. We're told that we have to grind 24-7 to be successful. And I used to believe that too. In my previous career, I was obsessed with productivity. I pushed myself to the absolute limit, had an assistant managing my schedule down to the minute. And to be honest, the results were fantastic, but the real cost was much higher. I was missing out on my family, my friends, the simple joys of life. I was so busy being productive that I forgot why I was working so hard in the first place. That experience taught me a powerful lesson. Productivity isn't about doing more. It's about doing what truly matters so you can free up time for the things you love. It's about designing a life where work supports your dreams, not consumes them. And for me, the iPad Pro has become an indispensable tool in creating that balance. Be careful though, the tools we use, they either empower us or enslave us. And so the first thing I do every morning without fail is activate focus mode on my iPad. This is essential for minimizing distractions and getting into a deep workflow. I've customized my work focus mode to silence everything except notifications from my calendar and a handful of key contacts. My wife, for example. Everything else, muted, completely gone. This immediately reduces mental clutter and allows me to approach my day with a sense of calm and intention. You see, never in human history we face so many distractions, so many attention magnets pulling us in every direction. Everywhere you turn, something is fighting for your attention. Ads, notifications, endless scrolling, and the problem, it works. We fall for it again and again. Which is why this is the first thing I do. My home screen then becomes super streamlined. Only the apps I absolutely need for work are visible. No tempting social media icons, no distracting notifications whatsoever. It's like a digital sanctuary designed for focus. And when I hit work mode, it becomes a single page home screen setup. This instantly removes the option to swipe and get lost in other apps. I can only access the apps that are on the screen and nothing else. This simple step helps me maintain focus. So when I'm working, I'm fully locked in. And when I'm with my family, I can be truly present with them. My calendar is my mission control. It's not just for appointments, it's for everything. I meticulously schedule time blocks for focused work, email management, brainstorming session, and yes, even breaks and lunch. And perhaps most importantly, I absolutely block out time for family, friends, hobbies, all the things that nourish my soul. It might sound rigid, but trust me, it's incredible freeing. It gives me permission to step away from work and be fully present in other areas of my life. I use a color gradient system to visually distinguish between various types of activities. And this allows me to quickly grasp where my time is allocated. The underlying principle here is the Pareto principle, the 80-20 rule. I focus on the 20% of tasks that will deliver 80% of the results. It's about prioritizing impact over activity. And this ensures I'm always working on what truly moves the needle. And trust me, when you apply this principle, you'll be amazed at how much more you can achieve. For me, deep work usually happens in the morning, so I block out dedicated time for that. Later in the day, I might tackle less demanding tasks like email or planning. But the key is everything gets scheduled, including personal time. Because if it's not on the calendar, it's easy to let it slip away. Notion is my all-in-one digital brain. It's where I orchestrate everything related to my business and personal life. I've designed a custom template that serves as my central command hub. I leverage database to track tasks, projects, deadlines, you name it. The beauty of Notion lies in its adaptability. I can generate diverse views of the same information and even employ formulas to automate tasks. My Notion setup is pretty simple though, and that's intentional. I found that keeping things simple is crucial for staying productive. The more complex your system, the more time you spend managing it, and the less time you have for actually getting things done. My focus is on removing any friction that might slow me down or distract me. And this is where my GPS comes into play. It's a framework I use to break down overwhelming goals into actionable steps. GPS stands for goals, priorities, and strategies. Let me give you an example. One of my main goals is growing this YouTube channel. My priorities in achieving that goal are creating high-quality content, 
engaging with my audience and improving my thumbnails. Each of these priorities then has specific strategies tied to it. For content creation, my strategy might involve batch scripting and filming. For audience engagement, it could be responding to comments and hosting live Q&A sessions. For thumbnails, I might invest in better design software or learn new design techniques. This system ensures that I'm always focused on what matters most. And trust me, I've been using this system for over a decade now and it has proven to work over and over again. So it's not just about working harder, it's about working smarter. Now, when I need to brainstorm ideas or work on complex projects, I use Freeform. It's like having an endless whiteboard at my fingertips. I can freely dump all my ideas onto the canvas, connect them using lines and arrows, integrate images and sketches, you name it. I use it for mind mapping, outlining video scripts, and even strategizing entire marketing campaigns. It's incredibly intuitive and helps me visualize complex projects in a really clear way. There's also where I break down my GPS. This way I can see all the strategies break down in actionable steps, which is kind of a lot. And using Freeform is really easy to navigate through all of this, especially because of the scenes feature. If I need to jot down a quick thought, write down an idea that just popped into my head, Apple Notes is my go-to. It's simple, it's fast, and works perfectly across all my Apple devices. I use it for all kinds of things, from making grocery lists to planning out my videos. And I really love using my Apple Pencil with Notes. There's something about actually writing stuff down that helps me get my ideas flowing. It feels more natural, more creative. Plus, it can even read my handwriting and turn it into text, which is super helpful. I also use notes to take notes when I'm doing research, draw diagrams, and save interesting things I find online. It's a really useful app. And it's free because it comes with the iPad. Of course, there are other indispensable apps in my toolkit. YouTube Studio is vital for monitoring my channel's performance and analyzing audience engagement. Canva and the Studio app is my go-to for designing captivating thumbnails and graphics for my videos. And finally, when it's time to weave it all together, I transition to my MacBook Pro and immerse myself in Final Cut Pro for the video editing magic. The beauty of the iPad Pro lies in its incredible versatility and portability. I can work from virtually anywhere, a coffee shop, an airplane, even the comfort of my couch. It empowers me to be productive without being chained to my desk. And when I need to focus on deep work or tackle more complex projects, the Magic Keyboard transforms my iPad into a true powerhouse. It gives me that laptop-like experience with the responsiveness and precision I need, but still maintains the portability and flexibility of a tablet. Plus, the Apple Pencil is an absolute game changer for me. There's something about the tactile experience of writing and sketching by hand that really helps me connect with my ideas. Whether I'm jotting down quick notes, brainstorming concepts or sketching out designs, the Apple Pencil allows me to capture my thoughts in a way that feels authentic and expressive. It's actually an essential part of my creative workflow. So there you have it, my iPad Pro productivity system. I hope you've got some valuable tips and inspiration to help you unlock your own productivity potential. And remember, it's not about the tools themselves, but how you use them to create a life you love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.